Hello, everybody. This is Baldur's Gate 3, one game of the year. Played a little bit, got a feel for it. And I decided I was going to start a new run and stream the experience. The main goals are I'm going to try to not miss any content, which is one of the reasons I'm starting a new run, is I'm pretty sure I missed some content on one of the on those old runs so we're going to start from scratch going into balance mode i'll probably do a tactician run after this one where i go for the more evil options and honestly if i feel really confident i might eventually do honor mode but unlikely so we're going to just go into balance mode Char character creation is probably going to take a while and i guess we'll see how it goes this run will probably take quite some time but I'm willing to give it a try because this game's beautiful. And we start with a very alien ship. Ah, what a cute little thing. And it goes in through the eye. And now it's our turn. Ugh. So I got two big options here. I can do custom or the dark urge. Because apparently this character, you can't recruit them. They are only available if they are you. And custom, of course, is custom. I don't feel like picking any of these guys because the thing is, all of these characters, assuming you don't make certain options, can join your party. And then you'll be able to use them anyway. So it makes more sense to choose custom or the dark urge. Then go with custom. And race. I personally think drow are really cool. They have this dark vision. Which doesn't see in the dark. Uh, you have advantage on saving throws against being charmed and magic. Can't put you to sleep. And crossbow with 30 feet per turn. I might want someone that does long bows because I actually prefer the like elf here has long bow. Because I actually prefer the normal bows to the crossbows. I could do tiefling, but I'm pretty Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna try to choose a race that none of the people you recruit are. Which is narrowed down to dwarf, halfling, gnome. Dragonborn, and I don't think you get a half orc either. Oh, they also get dark vision. Hmm. Dragonborn could be cool.
Wait, the color of dragon actually affects you? Acid, lightning, fire, lightning, fire, fire, poison and acid are separate. Fire, acid, ice, and ice. I'm thinking white dragon because ice is kind of cool. Hmm. And crossbows. Shoot. I don't want to... I want to use bows, not crossbow. This also doesn't give me any bows, I guess, huh? Are martial weapons. Hmm. So I'd rather go rogue, which would be double dipping a class, or I could change my race to someone who's able to use bows. I want to use a light bow, which might seem like an odd choice, but I feel like it would be a very smart one. Game able to use bows. Bard, maybe? Vicious mockery. Insult a creature at its disadvantage on its next attack roll. Wait, we're taking away half damage from bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing attacks. Get a spell. I get a heal, which is pretty useful. Dissonant whispers. Frighten a creature. They'll have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls, and they cannot move. Leave a creature prone with laughter without the ability to get up. And heroism. Make yourself a target or a target immune to frightened and gain five temporary hit points each turn. Bark inspiration. Inspire an ally to add 1d6 to their attack roll, ability checks, or saving throws. And that lasts until a long rest. Might just go bard, honestly. It looks kind of fun. Bards know music is more than idle fancy. It is power through study and adventure. These traveling master songs, speech, and the light and the magic within.
gain an advantage on rolls Roby is very useful. Speak with animals. Touch. You can see. I think C is better because that's more range. Yeah, I think I'll use disguise. Oh. Pick the instrument you'd like to use. It will influence the soundscape when you cast spells, and can be changed later by equipping a different instrument. I think I'll be a flute. Oh wait, this... Doesn't change my attire. Okay, it will be a flute then. Let me actually see, what's the recommended here? Hmm. Thinking, sacrifice a bit of that for more dexterity. Intelligent and dexterous, maybe? Charisma seems important. What does wisdom do again? So what increases spellcrafting for... Oh, this increases my spellcasting. So I don't really need wisdom or intelligence, do I? And y'all increase my charisma a bit. Okay, Ch -ch -ch -ch. slight hand stealth, aesthetics, arcana and history is kind of useful. Survival is very useful, actually. History and persuasion, insight and persuasion. Acrobatics isn't much, but the performance is pretty much what bars are all about. And I do have some visual mods. That looks about right. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? It's Hells. Something just woke up down here. Be wary. It's opened. I wonder what's back there. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. I'd rather only have the cut and the lip, but whatever. And I turned off genitalia and all that stuff. Just so I don't have to do any editing. If I do decide to bring this over to YouTube. Where's the tattoo at? Did I break the tattoos? Hmm. Some of the custom head shapes don't work with tattoos, I guess. Yeah, I can do this. I 
think those could work. Yeah, this could work. This would be my guy for now. I'll probably change him later at some point. I know that you can change your appearance, and you can also respec in the game, so I might change him later, but I think this is a good starting look for my guy. a human actually oh why the heck does the guardian have so many more head shapes oh it's probably because it says female i'm guessing maybe the mod makes head shapes exclusive based on gender Oh, hey, we're already back to scam chat messages. Guess Twitch still hasn't found a way to stop those guys from appearing. Oh, it's a fucking head shape guy. Uh... Yeah, that's the main reason, actually, that I turned off the uh, chat on screen. I changed the uh, layout to not really show it. Because I thought it might be a good idea to not show if those types of people appear. And it's pretty much saying, hey, go to this website and buy our stuff. We're not going to, like, we don't have anyone. We don't have any, like, big streamers to say that we're safe or anything. Just trust us, bro. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to do any facial hair. Okay, 
and we finally awake. Tutorial time. this light off help at all mm, a bit I prefer less light honestly so I'll do it So as mentioned, I did play a bit, so I already know some of these earlier cutscenes. I'll definitely start adding blind to the title of my streams once I get to that point. But yeah, I decided to start this new run because I missed some very important content, apparently. And I decided it would be best if I just start a new run and might as well stream it this time. I need to chase my guy's outfit ASAP. He looks goofy as can be in what he's wearing right now. Look at this goober.
visions project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. There's no way to jump down there without losing HP. Yeah. I want to try to experience everything I can with this run. That way I can do the Dark Urge Evil run secondly. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. It's a good first dice roll of the game. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Way to heal in case you somehow take damage in this room. Ooh, goblin. of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Oh, that cuts it short. A feeling penetrates your mind. An anomaly, one like ourselves, unconnected from the whole. Caution. Worlds beyond worlds flash before your eyes. Empires of a grand design traversed by ships just like this. of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. A schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. So the ships are lies, what that's telling me it seems. Can't take the brain jar with me? to save us from this place from this place you'll free us please before they return they return a new dawn born new from this husk you know no creature like this one that is more brain than person i think i'm failing all the passives Remove us from this body, from this case. Free us, please. Investigate this brain. 
Dang, I'm getting really good rolls so far. Notice edema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. That's just to rip him out. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. I'm not gonna injure it. Listening, something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. But the helm, we are needed. Let's go to the helm. We are going to the helm. Yes, we are. Us. Inside you squirms in recognition. Friend, we will go to the helm now. A gift. A gift to make you as we are. Soon you will be so beautiful, so powerful. Going to the helm. Oh, there's dragons here too. So it's not just the dragons, but those riders that are after us. Looks like there's always going to be dragons on our tail. Ninety percent chance. Nice. And us hopefully I can kill the last one, right? Perfect. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the helm.
Oh, she actually has one already equipped. Am I able to do wheeled crossbows? Nah. Okay. I don't have a weapon, so I guess I'll have a sword? Not proficient. Am I proficient with an axe? Apparently I am. So I guess I'll use a hand axe. She's using a great sword, which is two-handed, so... Didn't take any damage, so I guess I didn't really need to do that. <sighs> Touch stat, dang it. I don't want to wear this. I think it looks goofy as. I think it's one of the goofiest looking things I've ever seen, but it gives better stats. I guess I'll wear it for now until I get something that has better stats and also looks far better. Time for stragglers. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry, please. What happens if you don't save her? I'm gonna try not to use all unless I'm like How many hosts of these gay infected? in a place where there's a lot of stuff to grab that I might miss. As you place your hand on the pod, you feel something. The presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside change yeah that might be change our fault our oops change at the pull of a lever how we are not purified. This may be our fate. And preserve me. That cannot be our fate. Thought I dis stalled that mod. One second. Thought I disinstalled the law. Priestess mod, but whatever. Not a big deal. I'll just not use it. Weak and dazed. Oh shoot, what the heck? Wait a second. The newborn mind flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. Dang, they look freaking weird when not wearing. What was it that one dude was wearing when you approached us? Soul appears dormant. Insert the room. Console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate? I 
Oh, I get plus one, nice. Didn't need it because I'm rolling like a king right now. Might as well try. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. A parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. You feel her gratitude, but also guardedness. And above all, a will to survive. Ah! Trust me, I'll keep her. Shadowheart. One moment. Do I see a plot device? Fine. Let us make for the hell. We've wasted enough time already. She's right. Lead on. Yeah, it's gonna be a while till we hit level up, it looks like. Um. Oh. Oh, I should have killed him because he's closer and about to be an issue. Yeah, you do not touch my brain. Puppy. How dare he? Cultists on a mind flare ship. Swift as my feet can carry me. Dark mind. Let's go, dark mind. Maybe that dark mind is what happens to the dark urge if you don't pick him. And yeah, I have a mod on that auto saves every. I think it's eight and a half minutes. I think is the one I chose. There were multiple setting options. I think I chose eight and a half minutes. Might be ten minutes. I don't know. I know it saves periodically since it's very easy in this game to die and lose hours of progress. Flicks room, nah. Command E. Yeah. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. King Yank. Escape now. 
do it. We will deal with the Geich after we escape. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. Let's get the lesser Halbor, because I think I think most of our guys would struggle to kill that thing. So I'm gonna try to kill Commander Zelk. I'm gonna try to not lose us, though. I don't want us to die. Oh, that's right, he can't move bodies. Just drop a quick save, because there's a 55% chance that this works. Yeah. This might take a while, but I'm getting that guy's sword. Two options are command him to drop it or kill him. I'm going to try to do both. Because if he drops it, he'll be significantly weaker, unable to use, you know, the sword. Perfect. Auto save. Quick save again. I have 13 turns, I got plenty of time. Now, I would give the blade to her, but I don't know if she keeps her inventory. So I'm gonna make sure the protagonist is the one to get the blade. Just in case, I don't know if the other people will keep their inventories from here when I later encounter them. Post tutorial.
Hurry before they strike. Ah, that's right, she gets axe and surge at level 2, so she can't, like, attack much yet. Actually, wait, wouldn't he be immune to fire? No, he's just very resistant to it, not quite immune. That thing has no resistance to fire, apparently. Sure, clear the path for the protagonist, I guess. His teammates are showing up. That's not good at all for us. That's actually really bad. But I'm also at the point where the protagonist is going to be at the controls to flee immediately if there's any threat to everyone else. Just killing this guy wouldn't get me anything. It would just be bragging rights pretty much. I'm not gonna get the kill, I don't think. I think Commander Zayek is gonna not be killed yet. He might return later for all I know. Wouldn't be surprised with this game. Lots of stuff that you would think are just throwaways would come back later. If I do this, see how that does. See how that helps him. Light on my feet. Okay, and if us dies within the next turn, we leave instantly. 
If not, I see if I can kill this guy. Bro, this mindfire sucks ass at the game. He's like actually terrible. Actually, I probably should use um sacred light or sacred fire. What's it? Is it sacred fire or sacred light? Whatever her move is that deals radiant damage. So let me check. Doesn't have resistance to radiant damage at least. see if we can do this I doubt it but like he's so close <gasps> yes I survived let's go okay all we need is the mind flare to do some good damage here and we win just do this hit I'm beating him I I, I can do it I can do this. No way. Let's go. Beating Commander Zayek. But yeah, if you don't steal his sword, I don't know how possible this would be. I need to prey on a miss. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna just leave because I'm not losing us to this. Because I haven't don't think I've ever left this ship with us alive and this game is known to bring stuff back so I feel like us is probably gonna return you made it in time And now I hunt down party members for probably the rest of the stream because there's a lot of party members to obtain. Oh, no, I have to crash first.
Hey, buddy. Me and that mind flower having a nice moment, and then a fucking rock smacks me in the face. So if the Nautiloid is a living thing, does that mean that the Crash Slay is just a giant corpse? Now, let's see if my camera placement is where it should be, or if I messed up. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. There's a camp scene now. I'm actually kind of interested. What happens if I do long rest with not a single party member? It says that there's an event waiting, so I would love to know what it is. Nice our storage. Color even is this Drake General God die. Well, it's like a reddish color, it looks like. Hmm. So maybe it has like a greenish tint to his skin. What's green's complementary color again? Is it orange? Ah, oh, shoot. I'm trying to remember. Wait, no, I think green is red, actually. I'm not proficient with it. Okay, yeah. In the morning, I'll check out ties. But yeah, it's kind of weird that said there's a nighttime event. What nighttime event can happen with nobody else? Partial rest. Not wasting supplies when I haven't lost any HP or anything. To your trance should have been as easy as breathing, yet peace eludes you. You recall a wild wood touched only by the Telquasia. The world around you breathes. Fire spills across your thoughts. Dragon's breath. The tadpole slithers, twisting deeper into your skull. Your head is about to burst. The memory consumes your mind, corrupting the trance. You have walked your dreams countless times before. Will this memory to pass? Refuse to break. Anything can endure, can be endured in the trance. Or let the pain claim you. Then I'm gonna do the one I have an advantage on. But yeah. Oh, critical success. First mother run. Let's go. Should I? I'm actually gonna add something cool. One second. This is something I probably should have had set up beforehand if I was going to do it, but I didn't think of it till now. Uh, let me drag this thing over here. So...
put that right below the webcam. And this will be for skill checks only. It'll just track every critical success and every critical fail on skill checks. I just want to see if um ends up being equal. The flames fall away, a mere illusion. You are one with the forest again, sitting at peace. As the trance stabilizes, your breath deepens. Be it cure or cage, something must be done about the tadpole. Every night that passes is another night the monster inside you grows. Yeah, I've never seen that cutscene. I didn't even know that there was a uh, camp event before getting a single companion. Very surprised by that existing. Yeah, that's pretty cool actually. They, there's a scene that you only get if you camp before meeting anyone. Night camp event again. Hey, more rest. Okay. It's a quick save because I wouldn't be surprised if it's like, oh yeah, if you camp like three times before meeting anyone, you just become a mind flare. take stock of your senses your hearing is sharp your mind is lucid you feel no pain no fever no ill sensations you are still you old questions give way to a new one shouldn't you have begun to change by now another breath in another breath out you can worry and wonder tomorrow until then you must rest Do another partial rest because I'm not wasting my resources when I'm at full HP, full spell slots, full everything. So weird that there's two, two nighttime cutscenes that you can just get without meeting a single person. Just like immediately long rest when you crash. Okay. I think that's gotta be it this time, right? Yeah, okay. So this is the first open world port sort of area. Yeah, that thing is yeah, the Nautiloid's a living creature. Dang. Have a lot on my mind. Um well, in it. Mangled Fisher. <laughs> I might do some fishing actually later on this of a different game. I might actually live stream some of my fishing exploits in a game I've been playing. Called Arcane Odyssey. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll probably see lots of videos near this one of Arcane Odyssey, but like. Wait. Isn't Shadow Heart supposed to be like right there? So if you do those two cutscenes, you just lose Shadow Heart, I guess. Probably lose some other party members too, but that's so weird that they would include that. Hmm. Another interesting detail of this game. I feel like that's actually something a lot of people probably don't know about. If you instantly long rest, Shadow Heart just ups and vanishes. I wonder if any other party members are just like gone if you do that. Or if it's just Shadow Heart. Well, I'm not planning to find out. Pretty sure I heard one person say that they didn't get Gale until like Act 2, so I can always guarantee that he's not going to be gone. Ooh, creepy box thing. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible?
The divine mm. tend to keep their interventions close to the chest. So, I suppose it's not impossible. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Any idea no. where we are? I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. Aren't you we a killer? Have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right, let's get moving. One thing, just before we go, I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Nice. Lead the way. So that's our first party member, Shadowheart, a cleric, which means healer. Yeah, she's got healing and radiant damage, which I guess I'll use a bit of early game. One more HP, one more starting HP than me, it looks like. But, And I'm going to hold on to this level up until we grab a couple more people. I'm going to have a full party when we decide to level up, so everyone levels up at once. And you'll quickly learn I am an RPG hoarder, meaning I will hoard every item I find in games like this. So lots of looting. Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. But this is where it gets interesting. I plan to read as many of the books as I can. Some of them I might just send straight to bank and not read. But I'm going to try to read as many as I can. And we all row with the spray upon our necks, and we all row with the spray upon our backs, and we all row with the sea beneath our feet, and the bitch queen stays the storm. Wave mother, wave mother, lash us to the prow. Wave mother, wave mother, we ask to sail your skirt, if you allow. Wave mother, wave mother, sink us if you will. Wave mother, wave mother. Our skulls are yours, with brine and sand to fill. Souls away and anchors still, the wind won't move without the bitch queen's will. We'll wait gladly years and days till the bitch queen brings the waves. Hey ho, she told us so. Hey ho, she told us so. So that's just a sea shanty. Don't know the beat, so can't really sing it. Nor do I really plan to attempt to sing it. Is the sigh I love you? There I said it, and if we and if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again and keep on saying it till we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so but so staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can. We'll make do without the rest don't be late love anna at the hill overlooking the old bridge i should probably, i might want to remember that there might be something there depends on if this letter was in the pocket of the person it's sent to or the person that wrote it honestly also i'm gonna put this bag of dyes down here so i don't accidentally send it to camp Heck, you know what? I look goofy enough, I'll wear the hat. Oh, I got a violin. I think I'm gonna stick with the flute, because I like flute. I think flute is a very good instrument option. Might be the fact that I just enjoy Xenoblade Chronicles 3 a lot, though. Uh, Murgrass and 
Daggeroo. Then I'll get back to looking for other people. Oh, I talked Something to her. The matter. Uh, actually, I'm going to go through her dialogue options. What's the story with the odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. What do you think that of all that's happened we to us so far? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to, exactly? Must have thoughts about our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Where would you go? Home. Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Seems personal. I won't pry. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. I'm surprised I didn't get a like for that. How am I holding up in your estimations? I must admit... You've been a surprise, and not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Yo, I'm the bard. I'm the one singing. How dare you? Okay. Oh, nighttime event? Another one? Bro, how many? I kind of want to see it, but I also want to grab a few more party members first. Oh. Oh, there's one way back there. Okay, I'm going to shoot this one because it's the closest. And therefore, they want to be a threat to suit. That's not good. That's really not good. That's also not good. Shoot. Yeah, there's three of them and two of us. Not the best situation to find ourselves in, I'll say that much. Um, okay, how about this? You smack this one. Perfect. And I'll Let's shoot go. this one. Not as perfect. Okay, that one used dash, so it can't attack us. And this one's gonna bite. Oh, nope, it's gonna miss. Okay, that's actually really good then. Kill the one that's a more guaranteed kill. Bro. Holy shit. These things are strong, bro. I roll. My God. Looking ahead. It's time to get going. Have to keep going. 
Maybe I shouldn't hold on to these level ups yet. Maybe I should use them. Jack of all trades, your vast experience makes you more likely to succeed in any undertaking. Half of your proficiency bonus rounded down to ability checks that you are not proficient in. Song of Rest. You can now you and your allies are now revitalized as though you would have taken a short rest. Oh. So and I gain a spell. Nice. What are my options? Getting advantage on charisma checks is actually kind of good. What's this do? All targets within the light turn visible when attack rolls against the advantage. Yeah, I'm doing charm person. Because advantage just... So advantage just means you roll two dice instead of one. So it's really good. And then you'll, of course, use whichever one's higher. Shield of Faith is until long rest. Oh shoot, I'm gonna use it then. Um, get rid of Guiding Bolt because Bless is really good. There is work to do. And she keeps Sacred Flame actually, which is really good. So yeah. This okay. Interesting. Uh, I am Shell. Marigrass. Or sorry, Mergrass, not Mara. There's no A. Yeah, the autosave every like five to ten minutes is going to be annoying, but I think it's going to be a net positive because we're not gonna let you lose like an hour of progress and you'd have to watch me just redo something i did ages ago items didn't i pick up a toolkit yeah these tools drop that right there there we go Let's give me some guidance. Any anyway, thing except for a one. Perfect. So the helmet is better for her right now, and I'll wear the circlet, I guess. Hide during dialogue. Hide during dialogue, because helmets are typically really ugly. So hide during dialogue is my go-to with them. Now we meet another colorful character. Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Oh, okay, well. Before I do anything. 
properties. Two critical successes, zero critical fails so far. I don't think it's gonna last though. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? You'll talk. I can... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? The Mind Flayer's worm, it connected us. Of course. That explains things. Somewhat. And to think. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Well, Jake stepped down. I might have done the same where the rules reversed. Glad to see we're all caught up now. I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. No, Shadowheart doesn't like me trying to get more Astarian. out of him. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. I'm a Baldarian too. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Well, turn us into my players. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Uh, you should travel with me. The odds are better together. Yeah. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. And we officially got the rogue. Who also has marks on his neck and sharp teeth. But I guess our characters don't notice that. Wait, seriously? He doesn't gain any. He just gains a few things being bonus actions instead of action. Dang, he's kind of weak. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait, before I do that, speak with animals. And then I I'm gonna try to sneak up because I'm pretty sure it runs away if you get too close. Away! Away! You were all the same. Too many of my kind died because of your spears, but not me! Huh. See what you're hiding. You need to find a way forward. And nothing's down there, just a rock that I still don't know what to do with, but surely I'll figure it out. Maybe if I come back with a really strong character that can move it, perhaps? That's the only guess I got. And there's a hill here. Nothing on this hill, just... Yeah, just a hill. Nothing on it. Okay, so looking at this, I could pretty much just gotta go through the mine flare ship one side or the other. Yeah, it just connects it back to what we already explored. We'll go up here. the dying monster this is the thing that abducted you 
You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Yes, you feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it but then the feeling slips the creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere the monster lies exhausted defeated its eyes wet orange pearls radiate malice yeah kill it No approval or disapproval from either of my companions about that. Eh, nothing interesting. Kinda wish I could take his armor, it looks fucking sick. And I'm sure later I could probably get Mind Flare armor. If I can, I have never gotten there yet. Yeah, they got some decent stuff. Uh, so characters do keep the stuff that they had before the crash okay let me send some of this to camp though oh wait no uh, i'm gonna keep my thief tools all of that can go to camp the violin i'm not gonna use send this stuff to camp send this stuff to camp send this to camp and send this to camp and then for everyone's or inventory, she has detect falls. Send to camp, send to camp. Well, I'll type to that and send the bottles to camp. There we go. I actually do want to see what the long rest will give us. I'm not going to actually use it. I'm not gonna like waste camp supplies, but there is an event or two. Just one, okay. So we're resting here, um, turning in for the night. What, you never slept in the woods before? It's all a little new to me, I admit. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. Give it a try, we'll need to be fresh tomorrow. I'm in no place to rest yet. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through. To process this. You rest. I'll keep watch. I'll sleep better for that. The pleasure is all mine. Sweet dreams. Oh. Shadar wants to talk to. Yeah, so I think it's just gonna be every time you get a new party member, there's instantly a night event. What were you two talking about? We were just discussing the next I steps. See. I'd be careful with Astarian. You don't trust Astarian? Trust is a rare currency. Not sure I'd spend it on someone who drew a knife on me moments after I met them. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Agreed, the sooner we find someone to help us, the better. It's late. We can talk about this in the morning. It's not a at all caution. This is unfamiliar territory. Caution is a luxury we don't have. Let's rest and wake up at first light. Okay, it looks like I'm getting a starry and rep pretty successfully so far. Partial rest. I just did this for the cutscenes. Conversations, I guess. Your trance should have been as easy as breathing, yet peace eludes you. You recall a wild wood. 
touched only by the Telquasir. The world around you breathes. Fire spills across your thoughts. Dragon's breath. The tadpoles slivers, twisting deeper into your Maybe this is just a what else cutscene I didn't know about. The memory consumes your mind, corrupting the trance. The flames fall away, a mere illusion. You are one with the forest again. Sitting at peace. As the trance stabilizes, your breath deepens. Be it cure or cage, something must be done about the tadpole. Every night that passes is another night the monster inside you grows. Hmm. So that is just a what elf event, I guess. Another one, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna grab the other party members first. I'm not. I don't want to just spend the entire stream sleeping. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Touch it. A hand? Anyone? I'm gonna give him a high five. Should have clarified. Hmm? A helping hand. Anyone? Attune yourself to the sigil's magic, then bid it to quiet down. Hmm. Hard option. I should have used guidance. Still passed. Let's go. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. Now, I'm There's the new guy. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Eh, not wasting time of passing adventures? I certainly hope so. Apologies. I didn't exactly memorize my cephalopodian banishment spells last night. Wasn't the best prepared for an attack by squid. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. How did you get stuck in that stone? I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? Took control of the ship, uh, landed, it, landed it safely and saved the day. Vast burning wreckage behind you somewhat contradicts your story, but here you stand. So who am I to argue? Still, swashbuckling heroics aside, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region, were you not? Mm, couldn't have phrased it more 
apparently myself. No you sugarcoating it, is there? The inserty we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most cleric's skills. Most? No doubt, but I find myself no. a few. She tapped out for a second. You don't happen to be one of them. I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites, I'm afraid not. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. Parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Let's level up Kale real quick. Because I can. Gale of Waterdeep. Subclasses. Transmutation, Illusion, Deviation, Enhancement, Conjuration, Necromancy, Evocation, or Abjection. I'm gonna do Necromancer because I think Necromancers are fucking cool. And, um, Ice Knife and Disguise. Actually, a no, False Life. And Find Familiar. Wait, no, Aldrich Blast. Oh, wait, no, it's Magic Missile. Eh, it's a. Grease, magic missile, and sleep for that, and that for that, and perfect. So we could go there, but I kind of want to grab more party members before I go dungeon delving yet. Hey, Gail, could you do me a favor? Actually, no, you know, I'm going to talk my way out of this. I'm not going to put them to sleep. Zoru was right. Yellow is a toad twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Oh god, you've caught a scout. The Gith invasion forces are right behind me. Save yourselves. Oh, that's actually kind of genius. Hells, this isn't worth it. I'm out of here. Enough gawking. Get me down. Say please. Never. Observe and listen. 
Laser, welcome to the crew. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. A simple thank you would it, wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. There's has a decent point. All right, we journey together. Let's find this crash. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Very Very well. Yeah, we'll speak there. But heed my words. The horned ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Okay, so I think over here... Here is, yeah, over here is the encounter. Is there a way past that encounter without triggering it? Because I kind of want to see if I'm able to get Karlak before that encounter. Because I don't, because I feel like there'd be an interesting interaction bef between Karlak and Will if I had her in the party before that encounter. But I also don't think that that's possible. I think this is the party you're given. Okay, let's long rest, actually. Get the cutscenes out of the way. Swap out the party members. Ooh, I get a unique uh, Gale interaction. There's two of him. Be with you in a moment. Neat trick. Not a trick, my friend. Magic. Be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? Until quite recently, nothing at all. Ah, yes. The good old days. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? No. My point is this. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree, this is abnormal. Long live the abnormal. I'll toast to that. The pragmatic in me, however, sees only the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Okay, um... No one else wants to talk? Okay, Astarian, I'm gonna drop you for. I saw you just. I have to say, I thought you'd look worse, but no, not a tentacle to be seen. Hoping you'll stay that way. Naturally, but I was thinking, what if it doesn't? Of course, first sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. I am open to suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, whatever you'd prefer. I'll spill your guts. Don't be so pig-headed. I'm being practical. How much damage will you cause if you transform? How much blood can you bear to have on your hands? Hmm. 
If I had to choose, I'd want the knife. Make it quick. <laughs> a classic. One good thrust to the heart, and you're gone. We need a good blade of course. Don't want to waste time hacking and prodding with a dinner knife. Uh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is all a worst-case scenario, obviously. And you, how should I kill you? <laughs> oh, my boy. I'd like to see you try. Now, let's get some rest. The sooner we start tomorrow, the better our chances of keeping this hypothetically. I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Lazelle is delightful. In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. Hmm. Tell me about yourself. So tell. I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Okay, stay at camp. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Just stay here. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. Let's get Lazelle in the party. Emanations grow inside us. Our bones should ache. Our mouths should bleed. Yet we thrive. It is madness. Keep your rest short. Time is not our ally. Chatter already, Tusky. I think you're rare in these parts. I expect I am your first. I know of Gith Yankee, but I've never met one. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. You are no less alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Thank coming at my nose. Thanks for noticing. It was an observation, not a compliment. No matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. Do you know much about mind flares? I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Oh. Do you know what happens if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever in mem- Marie lost. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out, and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. How are you so... A loathsome fate, and one I intend to avoid. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Don't tell other matters. Fine. Join my it crew. Done. Level her up. Action surge. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Now she's really good. Like, probably one of the best units I could have at this point. She's gonna be one of the best units for a while. Partial rest, because I don't really need a long rest yet.
Okay, so. I want to make my crew look good. Yep, that works for me. I'm trying, I want to wear red this game. Actually, wait, what's Hell Dusk look like? Nah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep this one. This one's good. Okay, she uh, prays to Char, so let's get something. Night Black sounds like it would fit her quite well. Yeah, that works. Okay, I didn't do anything to her shield, sadly. Uh, let me fix my boots real quick. And fix my headband. Don't know if that did anything for the headband, honestly. Um, okay, next is Gale of Waterdeep. Hmm. He's a very... Ooh, he's a wizard dude, so. But I'm doing necromancy, so I'm thinking green coloring. Great. Emerald Graves sounds decent. Let's see what legendary looks like. Okay. Rustic is white. Yeah, oh, never mind. Yep, that's not it then. And I have no idea what color scheme I want to go for with these yet, so. shouting up ahead we should check it out but be careful so up ahead is the uh event with the grove but there's a shovel let's go one of the most important items in the game right there Okay, so I think I may as well just do the counter. Oh, there's a bow here. Let's just give it to her. Probably not going to use it like ever, but it's nice to have options. Yeah, there's no avoiding it, it looks like. Unless. Open the yeah, no. Gate. Nobody gets in. Zevlor's orders. That pack of goblins will be on us any second. What's going on? 
goblins are on our tail! Open the gates, Bevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates! Yep. <coughs> Roach. Provoke the blade. Feel the sting. And suffer its sting. Oh, suffer its sting. Okay. I got a really bad initiative sting. to 15 damage so shoot two at that one and one at this guy darn didn't kill either of them because of that Are you serious? Oh, there we go. There it goes. I should cast Mage Armor before the battle, but... This is one. 
Barth is dead. That's not good. That's really not good, actually. I hope Barth isn't important, like, at all. I don't think he... Is Barth the important one? One second, examine. Ah, oh, sure, I think he's actually the guy that like, has cutscenes tied to him. Well, not much I can do. He's dead. Now, if they would just get out of the grease, I would fucking light it on fire. But the fact that they're sitting in the fire means I'd probably kill them if I did that. Because I think grease is flammable. Not sure there's a way to check that, but I'm pretty sure grease is flammable. That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! Yankee joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. Tell me a bit about yourself. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Something about the real you? Certainly. That I have a great respect for privacy, for instance, especially my own. Nah, that would be so. Nah, peering into his mind would probably make him hate me. I'm not trying to make sour uh, relations with my companions yet. Okay, I might do the Grove side quests. Ooh, enchanted. Absolute's Bane. On a hit with a weapon attack, possibly inflict 1d4 penalty to the target's attack rolls and saving throws. Sure. Now where his pendant. And a spike. Never mind, an upper sufficient with shields, apparently.
children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too! Unbelievable! Unbelievable was how we beat the goblins. You're both heroes. I don't think Zevler is going to like that much, but hey, you know what? And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. I'm staying back and watch. Should have done that a long time ago. Arrogant prick had it out for me from day one. No one leaves my people out cold. So you knocked him out, Holden said. Clever. Only way he shut that hole under his nose. He was right, though. Coming back to this hellhole was a mistake no amount of gold can put right. I'd rather face another round of goblins than stay in this pit. Goblins with the same vigor he had for that for once. Let's try to avoid any more punishment. We need to find a healer. Helm's protection. When you heal another creature... Oh. When you heal another creature, it gains resistance against bludgeoning pierce. Well, that's interesting. Walter's gate. Not up for training today, I'm afraid. And a key. Nice. Okay, so this goes to our healer, of course. Speaking of which, I should probably use my die on my new gloves. Doesn't change much. Gale doesn't really have much to wear yet. What's this? Sevler's key? A heavy... Let us show you key carried by the tiefling leader. Put on the key ring. The annals of Baldur's Gate. Centuries ago, a young man sailed from the village of Grey Harbor, where he went and where he went, what he saw, and the deeds he accomplished are simple legend today. But the wealth he returned with years later is a hard fact. Balderon made Grey Harbor rich. His gold built docks, funded businesses, and raised strong walls to protect it all. One of the gates into the flourishing city was named in his honor, but so great was the wealth that flowed through it that the name of the gate became more famous than the village. That started it all, the name Grey Harbor has been Re relegated to dusty history books and ancient maps. But Baldur's Gate, that name is on the lips of every traveler in Faerun. Hmm. Interesting. Grey Harbor. I'm going to have to remember that. Drop a hard save. And I think think once that save goes through i think that's a good spot to end the first video slash stream i'm kind of tired because i decided to do this late at night thought i had a bit more energy in me than i did but that's a really good spot to end because we just got to grove this is where the game starts to open up by the way so i'll probably start next stream exploring the grove Let's do all the quests in here. Um, except for ones that I might want to save for later. 
uh, explore the grove, then head out to get the other party members. And I might, I'll try to do up to, like, I'll try to do most of the optional uh, Act 1 content next stream. But for now, I'm probably going to go sleep. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.